This is feed dog. It's an essential part of every sewing machine. As little as it may look, it could cause you shoulder pain if you don't pay attention to your feed dog. So what feed dog does is that feed dog is responsible for moving fabric whenever you are sewing. So uh, the feed dog is the one responsible for moving the fabric while you are sewing, while you are using your sewing machine. So if the feed dog is bad, you have the fabric moving very slowly or even stuck. That is, you have to pull or drag the fabric from behind. If not, the fabric will not move. Before we continue, I will urge you to like, comment and share this video and even subscribe or follow this page. As I have said, the feed dog is totally responsible for moving the fabric either forward or backward with the help of the presser foot. So I will show you how the feed dog move the fabric. So I will just keep turning the wheel and you see the feed dog going backward and forward. So as you can see, it's going backward and forward. And if you have the fabric and the presser foot is down, that is the presser foot is pressing the um, fabric on the feed dog the fabric will be moving just as you want before we go further i would like to tell you about this app it's called stybit stybit is an application designed for fashion designer to help them manage and scale their business with stybit you can take measurements you can save measurement digitally you don't have to do pen and paper anymore you can track your sales see your total revenue see any pending payment and even send invoice professionally to your customers so i'll leave a link in the description box comment section or in my bio to download the stybit app if the feed dog is bad you don't have to pay anybody to repair or change the feed dog for you it's a thing every fashion designer can just change easily so i'll lose this plate here to get access to the uh, feed dog so after i'll just lose this boat here keep them aside and remove the plate to get full access and see the skeleton of the feed uh, dog so this is the feed dog from the inside at this point we can easily replace the feed dog so uh, i don't want to lose this out but i'll just show you how you can lose it to lose it you just and lose the two bolts on the feed dog these two bolts so i don't want to lose this i'll tie it back so you can get the feed dog at any tailoring shop you can lose this lose the uh, current one and take it there so that you won't take uh, the feed dog for another sewing machine so i i think it's cost only uh, about 300 naira that is not even up to a dollar so this may covering back the plate so after you you replace the feed dog of course you have to cover the plate and you have to tie the plate very well because if the plate is not well tied it can uh, cause harm to the um feed dog it can unspoil the feed dog that is if the plate is not well tied it can harm the feed dog and you have to change it again so i'll fix back the presser foot and show you how and uh, your fabric should freely move while sewing you may think your fabric is freely moving because um you think you are not to drag in it but i will tell you that you don't even have to drag or pull it at all if the feed dog is okay so um, that is why I'm doing this because I normally see a fashion designer dragging it maybe little or I don't know maybe it's a habit but um, I'm telling you that you don't have to drag or pull it at all if your field dog is good. So watch how this fabric removes freely without me pulling or dragging it from behind. So can you see this? I don't even have to pull it so for other feed dog you see them pulling it from behind trying to pull it so that it can move fast as they want but just watch how I'll leave this fabric without even um, touching it from behind this is it this is it the fabric is just moving as the speed of which I'm pedring dimension. 
lastly is how to identify if the fault or if the cause is actually from the feed dog or from somewhere else so i just lose the pressure foot so that we can have a good view of the um feed dog i just hope you get to understand or see what i'm trying to show you here the feed dog looks like um teeth or something sharpy it should be sharp not flat so if you notice that the 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 surface of the feed dog is not pointy or not as sharp as it used to be then the fault is from the feed dog because the the surface of the feed dog should be pointy or true should be pointy you can feel it with your hand try rub your hand on the surface of the feed dog and know if the the surface is running out or not.